more than just being a more effective way to train a deep neural network cloning and refine. A deep neural network with a single hidden layer, a deep neural network with multiple hidden layers. The first time we use this algorithm, we must choose how to represent these models. We invoke the first identical output layer that the model uses. We then learn a second different function that represents the different states of the model. We then use this function to recreate the first output layer from the second output layer. This time, we must choose how to represent these states then. We can now compute the gradient of a weight matrix with respect to a scalar vector of weight G of T over the scalar to a vector of real value targets. This function is the gradient of the weight on the output. It is not the gradient of the weight on the input. If we fit a vector of real value targets, then we fit a scalar to the output of the hidden unit. These operations are called the update and the shrink in addition to the operations we have described so far. The dot product of the gradient with the norm of the output may be used to obtain the gradient with respect to the inputs. This operation requires the addition of an extra operation in the shrink which can be seen as performing a modification of the update operation. 